Hey guys, I'm Angela. And I'm Catherine. And we are the creators of ReFit. You know, we've realized that over the past five years, we've done a pretty good job of giving you guys lots of choreography and lots of music. But very rarely do we talk to you about your workout. Yeah, and so we've got a really great song coming your way. It's Work Hard, Play Hard, and it's kind of the heartbeat of ReFit. So we're gonna take a minute and give you some tips on how you can make your workout work hard and play, and play hard. hard. So tip number one is we want you to focus on your lines and your muscle engagement. What we're talking about here is your lines. Go ahead and flex that bicep for us. In this song, you'll see that we do a lot of bicep flexes. And so when we're talking about lines, we want you to think about keeping your elbows parallel to the floor. We don't want droopy elbows and we don't want elbows that are too high. So again, you wanna make sure that your elbows are parallel to the floor. All right, and the second tip coming your way is something we like to call muscle engagement. You've probably been in a group fitness class or you've heard somebody telling you on TV to flex your core or focus on your core or squeeze your core and you're like, I don't have a core. I don't even know how to do that. So we like to call it muscle engagement. Really simple, really easy. The first thing with muscle engagement is applied resistance. Angela, show, yes, that is applied resistance. Boom. All that means is you're really just focusing and squeezing those muscles and applying your own resistance slap me in the face, <laughs> to your movement. You also want to remember about engaging your core. This is a phrase that's used a lot in the fitness industry, and a lot of times, a lot of people don't know exactly what that is. A great way to think about core engagement is think about your belly button, drawing your belly button in towards your spine. As you make that motion, as you take your belly button and draw it into the spine, you are engaging your core. I can still talk, but my tummy is tight. <laughs> That is core engagement. And our last tip for you is we wanna talk about range of motion. Range of motion is one of those tiny tweaks that you can implement to your workout that will maximize it. It's true, when we talk about range of motion, what we mean is size of movement. There's a walking series in this choreography and Catherine could do a very small range of motion by simply walking forward like baby steps. Or she can increase the intensity of her workout by adding full range of motion to that walking series. She's covering a lot of floor space. She's got major swag as she's walking forward and she's going for that larger range of motion. So as you're thinking through your choreography, think about what your intensity level needs to be. And if you wanna take it up a notch, large range of motion is where it's at. So to recap, our first tip was focusing on those parallel lines. The second tip was to remember to engage your muscles. And don't forget, this also includes core engagement. And our third and final tip was range of motion. <laughs> We hope that you guys enjoy this fitness tip, and we hope especially that this will help you take your play hard into a work hard workout. We also want to say thank you for the past five years of love and refit, supporting us, motivating us, and encouraging us. Yes, thank you guys so much. We are so appreciative of your support, of your prayers, of your comments, of your emails. We love it. We love you. Hope to see you soon.